Right, the uh, story so far. Good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning. Um, we're at Lake Garda. We're not at the campsite we originally booked because when we arrived yesterday, um, there appeared to be a problem. Um, an oversight on my own uh, account. Um, that when we did arrive, the, uh, we were told they don't accept pets. And saying as we've got three dogs between us, uh, we couldn't stay on them. So the, the worst availability on this site we're just leaving, which is uh, Camping Delgada, um, we could have stayed here for the six nights we're here. Uh, but we decided just to book one and um, see what it's like. Um, it's not our kind of um, camping site. Uh, it's a little bit crowded. Um, so now it's um, day two of being up in Lake Garda. Um, we're going to have a look at another campsite which is about 15 minutes away on the uh, other side of the lake. So we'll, um, we'll catch up with you um, when we uh, get round to the campsite. <laughs> This would have to be the best motorhome service point I think we've ever encountered. It is, yeah. You don't need a hose pipe for your fresh water. There's one already in the thing. There is a, um, you, you clean your, your grey waste, your toilet waste, sorry, out in that machine. And then you press the pedal press down, the pedal down, down there, it there and it flushes it all away. Down here, the wastewater is going down out of our tank. We've got a little bit of an issue with our tank. It's very stinky, so we're gonna fill it up with water and try and wash it through. Um, Melly's having a look. She's looking what we're up to. And it would have to be the prettiest service point ever. I'll take you around this side. Look, all the wild flowers around here. How pretty is that? So nice, makes it a pleasure to empty your tanks. And I, we think that once you once you drive away after you've drained your water, it washes it all down. Because yeah. it, it washed it down before I came, once I'd driven over yeah. it. Um, it washed it down before I started. Yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, might you point out the accuracy of my parking? Oh yes, absolutely. It's not straight down the middle. I don't. Know On the is. button, absolutely. Well done to you.
Right, well this is our setup. Um, we're on pitch 159 at, here at Camping Fonella, um, just by uh, San Felice. Oh, Melly's got caught. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go. There we are. Go, go. So Tracy's set up a, a little tent Not for herself. Not She's for gonna me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, your bed. I'm trying to tie Smelly in, but she's not having any of she's it at the moment. She's been in and had some food. So yeah. it looks like she's gonna lie in the bush. <laughs> which is typical of Melly. So, what do you think of this place, Tress? Although we've been here before. We've been here we? before, but it's a few years ago. But yeah, it's as nice as I remember. Nice pictures. Well, this picture's really yeah. nice. Um, yeah. And the facilities are nice, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Top notch. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The shower blocks. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Melly, come back. Come here, Mel. There's too much slack on that. She's going to get onto the road. Melly, come here. Which way? Come on, this way, that's it. I knew you'd find that little gap. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna have a little bit more to do. Uh, not much, a bit of pegging down. Yeah. But it's very warm and humid, isn't it? Be yeah. Yourself. Stay there. Alright. Yeah, so we just had a. Nelly! We just had a little bit of lunch and uh, just going to carry on with a few more jobs. Yeah. Then I'm going to make a spaghetti bolognese. Yes. Yeah, for tea. Right, Trev and Sue are over. They're not close by us on this uh, uh, campsite. Well, no, we didn't have a reservation here, so no, we just we had didn't, to no. take what, what there was. What really. there was, yeah. But that's okay, they're only around the corner. It's yeah. not more than two or three minutes walk away. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing down there, Melly? Melly. She's just eating the grass. Yep, yeah, so we're going to just uh, kick back a little bit, aren't we? And relax. How are you enjoying it so far, Trev? Yeah, it's very nice. It's yeah. a bit warm today, but yeah. there's plenty of shade along this path. There is. Um, we've done quite a rural section along the olive groves there. Yeah, we have, yeah. And uh, it looks like we're now coming into a, an old town area. Yeah, the town uh, we're going uh, just heading or coming into is uh, a small town called Portese. Um, there is a very steep hill. Is there? Yes. Okay. Downwards, down to it. <laughs> but there is a another route out which is not as steep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no. we'll uh, no, we'll explore. We'll go and explore. Some, see see what's happening down there. And some nice um, some nice uh, hills and uh, scenery just yeah. here. Yeah. So what we're noticing is that uh, autumn is just around the corner because the some of the trees here are starting to lose leaf. Yeah, they are. It's really becoming quite pretty. Yeah. Yeah, the changing colour, colours. The colours are starting to come out, aren't they? It, it's very strange, really, uh, the changing seasons here because it still has a feel of summer because of the sun and the heat. I think it's about 28 degrees. Uh, mm -hmm. it's a warm breeze. I mean, warm breeze, yeah. yeah. It's a lovely warm breeze, actually. It's just blowing on his back. Right, we'll head on to uh, Portese and uh, have a little wander and a look around there. And then who knows where we might end up. A bar, hopefully.
Well, we made it to uh, the uh, town of Salo. We're just on the promenade here, and uh, don't you think this is just beautiful? It's very busy, very uh, relaxed atmosphere. Um, street musicians in the background, just adding to the atmosphere. It's uh, it's just so nice here. One point uh, of interest is that uh, Salo is. Uh, the home of the inventor of the violin. It's a repellent. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, mosquitoes. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a cream for the bag? Yes, this is this is after buy. Okay. It's roller and come many many times. That is for you put in your inside the room. Yes. Yeah. You can yeah. take also into the bedroom because it's full of natural. Yes, yeah. And yeah. also this, uh, is, uh, this is uh, for... Uh, to, uh, yes. to prevent. Yes, yeah. to prevent. All right, so we're sat on the uh, is it promenade. Yeah, promenade yeah. at the lake side. Just at the lake side of the Yeah. This is for eating for you. Oh, that's it. Um, we just ordered um, breakfast start. and we have ordered the perfect start um, which consists of a single dish fried egg omelette or omelette, um, crispy bacon and avocado on cornmeal bread. We could have had it on lack macchiato. Right. And of course, Americana. Tracy's got scrambled, um, bacon and avocado and it looks absolutely delicious. Yeah. I'm not even waiting. Oh yeah. that's good. I'll probably go and have a look at the shops for the girls. Found the uh, the big church in the centre of Salo. Um, let's try and see what it's called. San Bernardino. Nothing grand, no. is it? Nothing no. grand outside. Yeah. 
Uh, so. Tom fishing box and it's a bit late for that for me. <laughs> <laughs> paintings and the sculptures and the carvings, absolutely beautiful. Taking a stroll up and down the uh, the back streets um, in Salo, uh, beautiful architecture, and uh, we're just about to enter into the shopping area. Um, yeah, we went up the town. Yeah, and we'll uh, have a little stroll around there. But now you're going to fill this blog <laughs> with too many photographs. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There she is, another photograph. I know. Be a massive photo dump again today. Now, what you found here, Trace? Well, it's a sign that tells you about this particular little area in Salo which is called um, Contrada del Trabuco, District yeah, of yeah. Trabuco, which was first recorded in the 15th century um, and it was an alleyway from uh, Mattia Botturini to Via di Mezzo and it's, uh, it's derived from a Latin name um, for the word the device used to throw rocks from the town walls down onto its to enemies. Its enemies. Imagine varnishing that. I know, it's very, uh, very lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? It'd be lovely to just go around cruise, the lake cruise on that. Around the lake. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get her a Long Island iced tea. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had one? Have you ever had one? No. Believe me, you don't want to get one. There's vodka gin, rum, triple sec, sweet and sour and topped with cola. Yeah. I'll <laughs> 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 well, come to this bar and 
past the drinks menu. <laughs> it's the drink it's taking and so, ice cream menu. Yeah. It's taking so long to choose. I've got my choice. I'm going for a beer. I think Trev's gone to check out the ice creams. The gelato. And the girls are still debating. No, I know what I'm on. Well, Trace, have you enjoyed uh, this visit to Salo? It's been lovely, really lovely. And we've got the church bells in as well. Striking midday. Midday already, yeah? Yes. Yeah, we've been here a couple of hours. So just had a lovely stroll. Yeah. Strolled by the lake, had our breakfast, then through the old town, learning some of the history of the town. Yeah. And then um, we've now lost so, Trev and Sue. Yes, we've lost Trev and Sue, so. I'm going to just message yeah. them. But we're, um, we're, we're going to head back to the uh, campsite and uh, just have a relaxing afternoon. Uh, walk the dogs, first of all, because they've been get the dogs at the campsite in the motorhomes. Um, it's been too much for them here, but there's been plenty of people with dogs, haven't there? It's a house, yeah, but... Yeah, so uh, we'll, um, we'll catch up with you a little later on.